So I have question do you want a simple wedding or a grand one? So the updates would be according to your suggestions. After a month. It had been two months since Manik and Nandini's first encounter and in these months they had met few times. Nandini was working in her cabin when she received a message from an unknown number. The message simply read, meet me at the park at 6 p.m. Manik Nandini's heart skipped a beat as she read the message, her mind flooded with a mix of excitement and nervousness. She couldn't help but wonder what Manik had in store for her. With a small smile playing on her lips, she quickly replied, Okay, see you there. As the clock struck six in the evening, Nandini found herself standing at the entrance of the park, searching for any sign of Manik. The park was adorned with twinkling fairy lights, casting a magical glow over the surroundings. She took a deep breath trying to calm her racing heart. Just then, she heard a familiar voice behind her. Nandini? She turned around and there he was, Manik, standing there with a bouquet of her favorite flowers in his hand. His eyes sparkled with warmth as he smiled at her. I hope you like these, he said, extending the flowers towards her. Nandini's eyes widened with joy as she accepted the bouquet. They're beautiful, she breathed, her voice filled with genuine appreciation. Thank you, Manik. He chuckled, a hint of nervousness in his eyes. Nandini, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a while now. Nandini's heart skipped a beat as she looked into his eyes, her anticipation growing with each passing second. What is it? She asked softly, holding her breath. Manik took a deep breath, gathering his thoughts. Ever since that day we met, I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. I don't know how but in these two months I have started feeling things that I haven't ever felt. Every time I see you, my heart skips a beat, and I can't help but smile. Nandini's eyes widened in surprise, her heart pounding in her chest. She had never expected Manik to reveal his feelings so directly and honestly. Her mind raised as she tried to process this new information. Manik. She began, her voice trembling with a mix of excitement and uncertainty. I. I don't know what to say. He reached out and gently took her hand in his, his touch sending shivers down her spine. You don't have to say anything right now, he reassured her softly. Take your time. All I want is for you to know how I feel. And for you to understand that I'm here for you, no matter what. Nandini looked into Manik's eyes her heart swelling with a flood of emotions. She could see the sincerity and vulnerability in his gaze, and it made her realize that she felt something too. Something she had been trying to deny, but couldn't ignore any longer. I, I don't need time, Nandini finally spoke, her voice filled with determination. I feel the same way, Manik. I've been feeling it too. A smile broke across Manik's face and his grip tightened on her hand. Really? he asked, his voice laced with a mix of relief and joy. Nandini nodded, a shy smile forming on her lips. Yes, really. I've never met anyone like you before. You make me feel something I can't explain. Manik's smile widened as he took a step closer to her, their hands still intertwined. So will you be my girlfriend, M.S. Malik? He asked. Sure, Mr. Malhotra Nandini replied making Manik grin as he took her in a hug. Nandini nestled her head against Manik's chest, feeling safe and loved in his arms. It was a moment she had never imagined would happen when they first met 
but now it felt like the most natural thing in the world. Flashback ends. They continued talking for some time and Manik's mother called him so they ended their conversation and Manik went down. Hope it was not too boring. From that chapter onwards the present track would start. <laughs>